Hi, this is Janita Mason. I am the medical director of the Bio Sanctuary and the Total Immersion Eco Clinics and Retreats. I'm also the author of The Science of Weight Loss. Um, the, how The Science of Weight Loss came about is after 20 years of working with seriously compromised um, addicts, uh, those on psych drugs with a lot of mental health issues, and regular people just wanting to get healthy, uh, but everything in between that you can imagine. Um, I realized that I had a golden nugget here. You know, I people were losing weight, you know, and, and the reason being, especially the psych drug people, is because the first thing I would fix is the gut, because without the gut being well, nothing else can work right. And because I was putting so much emphasis on the gut, people, because I had to, psych drugs just destroy the gut. I mean, all drugs do. Alcohol can in three days. Um, but, you know, the GMOs and all the chemicals in foods and the chemicals you're, you're exposed to the, in, the, in the air and water, um, they, they just, they destroy the gut. But psych drugs specifically, they just drill holes. They're so toxic, they drill holes through the gut. That's your leaky gut syndrome, as does GMOs. So anyway, because of this is a complete comprehensive system and I'm cleaning everything out, my first, first thing I had to do was clean out the gut and get it functioning well. And um, everything was looked at from IBS, leaky gut, diverticulitis, all of it. And, um, and my people in you know, the 10 day retreats, they were losing a lot of weight if they needed to lose it. If not, they really didn't lose weight. There is a lot of fat in the diet actually. Uh, this is uh, the first 10 days is actually a nutritional ketosis diet because I have to get all the bad bacteria uh, starve it out of the, the colon. So anyway, I thought, you know, I'm going to research this and find out what's really happening. What is happening that, you know, these people are losing weight so quickly because there is a lot of fat in the diet. And, um, and so I did. I went into research for about a year to find out exactly what it was in my program. And then I, I focused on weight loss and even built out the program even more to, to focus specifically on weight loss. And that was the uh, inception of the science of weight loss that's just been published. So anyway, today I'm going to interview Tina. I worked with her son about a year ago and uh, when the science of weight loss came out she gave me a call and she said, Janita, I want to come in for the 10 days. So I'm going to, I'm going to interview her today. It's going to be a short interview, so hang in there. Uh, I know the attention spans these days. And uh, you're going to find out the amazing, amazing results. And this isn't just about weight loss. You know, people have gut issues today. And uh, painful and also disease-causing gut issues. And um, you want your gut well. And when your gut's well, you know, you're going to hear a lot. You're going to hear how she took 13 minutes off of her hike in 10 days. You're going to hear about how her energy switched over on day six. Uh, she would, you know, the first few days are a little rough because you're detoxing. It's hard on the body. You're getting stuff out, so it's gonna it's gonna load the kidneys, the liver. Um, but when that, but it happens quick. <laughs> when it's over, it's over, and you start feeling great. So anyway, I'm gonna start the interview with Tina. We're gonna go over her vitals. I do before and afters, and uh, she's gonna tell you about her experience and how much weight she lost. All right, stand by. Okay, Tina, you want to introduce yourself? Tina Castle. Okay. <laughs> When did you uh, start your 10-day program? It was the 24th, wasn't uh, it? Ah, yes. Yeah. Of so, uh, August. Yes. So uh, today is your ninth, the, the end of your 10th day. It's September 2nd, 2015. And um, I want to ask you, why did you decide to come in? Well, I, I wanted to kind of isolate myself from everybody else because um, I felt like it would make it easier for me to stick to the the plan. Um, because when you're going from eating like I was, you're eating, you know, seriously, I had a food addiction. Um, and when you're going from that to something that really at first seems like, wow, I'm not, I don't know if I can survive on that much. And just all the other things that you have to do, it's, 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 it's a lot of work and I just felt it would, it would be easier to do it here. And, and learn and, the and process. Concentrate. Yeah. Learn the process and also concentrate on just this. Mm -hmm. Take out some time for you. Yeah. Me time. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so you want to share? Uh, I was I was about to share your vitals. Um, I can get that right now. But uh, how much weight did you lose? Uh, I lost nine pounds. No, almost. 
almost Kim 10, counts, 926, yeah. in yeah. nine days. Tomorrow right. morning is actually the true the true uh, loss for 10 days. So you're gonna you're gonna weigh yourself again at home tomorrow morning, right? And uh, and get a hold of me, and we'll update this. Uh, it'll probably turn out to be about 11 pounds in 10 days. Um, so what are some of the improvements in your health that you've experienced beyond the losing weight? Um, wow. I mean, everything. I mean, like this cloud is lifted. Um, I have a lot more energy. Uh, I cut from the first day that I did my hike till this morning. So in 10 days, I trimmed 13, 13 minutes off my hike. And that's an uphill and, hike too. Yes, to it is. To the, to the observatory, yeah. Yeah, and uh -huh. um, the like I was telling you before, I had this feeling in my legs, whenever I would stretch out, I had kind of like this burning, kind of achy sensation, especially in the backs of my legs. Mm -hmm. That's all gone. I mean, my energy is just way up. Um, and um, even that time that I tied myself today, my legs were sore today because I jogged down yesterday. Yeah, you and jogged I, down yesterday. You could barely down. make it up the first time, and then you yeah, jogged down. I, I jogged down today, yeah. too, but my legs were sore from yesterday. So I could, in a couple more days, I know I'll trim off at least another minute. You know? Uh huh. Yeah. And it's just the energy. It's just the, the clarity. Um, it's just, uh, it's, um, you know, it's everything. Yeah. It's, Are you bouncing out of bed in the morning instead of feeling sluggish and... Yeah, I mean, I still, me, myself, when I first wake up, I lay in, I like to lay in bed for a little bit, but yeah, then I just, I just get up and start doing things. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's definitely easier to get out of bed. I'm not sleeping as much either. Yeah. Last couple nights, I only slept about six hours and I feel rested. I yeah. don't feel tired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being out earlier, earlier in the program, um, you know, I was tired and I, and, and, and I did, I took a nap in the day. You know, mm -hmm. like after we were done, yeah. I would go back and take a nap. Because you are wasted. <laughs> it didn't get real bad until about the fifth day. Yeah. Fifth day was was pretty rough. And then the sixth day completely turned around. And That's when the energy popped. It, and it completely turned around, honestly, in about two to three hours. Uh -huh. Just boom. Because yeah. when I left here, I really, I was, whew, I was beat. You know, um, and then all of a sudden I, I got I got home or I got to where I was staying, and after a couple hours I'm like, hmm, well, I feel pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you know. And it's only been getting better and better and better and since, since day then, six. Yeah. yeah. Since yeah. then it's yeah. I tell I tell people that that the first four to six days everybody is different, but it's always the window is four to six days because detoxification is very hard on the body, especially the first few days. We call those the quicksand days. People feel like they're moving through quicksand. Yeah. 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 But, but once that metabolism kicks in and we clean you out and the cells can start working again, the mitochondria is boosted, you know, things just get better and better and better every day. All and right. Then, and Let's, then once you, once you feel, once you start to feel good and you feel that turn, it's really motivating. Yeah. And inspiring. Yeah. yeah. You feel like getting things done. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Well, do you have anything else that you want to add? Um, it's worth it. Yeah. It's totally worth it. I mean, if you think, you know, this is expensive, I mean, you know, it, it honestly, it's your health and, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's the way I looked at it. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm not a rich person. Um, and, you know, I scraped up the last amount of money I had to come out here. And I quit my job. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're ready for change. Because I, yeah, and I knew I needed and, it. And, and I, while you were here, you got a really great job offer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, things yeah. happen like that. Yeah. It's a magical thing. I don't know what it is, but when people start getting well, things just start lining up and falling in place for them when they start doing the right thing. I yeah. see it over and over again in every single one of my patients that, that do the do. Do what yeah. they need to do. And I don't, the other thing I want to say is I don't feel that addiction anymore. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, well, because we're at, my last 30 days before I came here, I just kind of got into a bad funk. Um, you know, I was eating fast food uh, almost all the, you know, every night. And I just, you know, um, just like in that video that you had me watch about that guy that ate at McDonald's mm -hmm. for 30 days straight, 
he said, you know, every time, you know, like he would start thinking about food and then when he ate, he would get, he would have a really happy feeling and that's the way I was. Mm -hmm. That's straight up addiction. They, they put is. chemicals in there to get in, in that food to get people addicted. MSG is addictive. And, it's and an excited I, I, there. When he said that, I totally could identify with that. And you don't feel that addiction I, anymore, do no, you? No, I don't. Yeah, it's just like my alcohol patient yeah, patient load. It's the, all of them. You know, when you get the body working, when the body's supplying all the natural feel goods and it's working the way it's supposed to work, you have a you, you know natural aversion. Actually, yeah. aversion to the to drugs and and bad food. It's not going to taste good, you know. Yeah. Because that that kind of food it dumbs down your taste buds. All that salt and sugar and fat dumbs down your taste buds. When you're in this kind of condition, your taste your receptors on your taste buds are wide open, and they can you know you, you can get satisfaction from good natural foods. An orange is going to send you to heaven, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know you don't need that stuff anymore. Uh -huh. The body naturally craves good food when it's clean. The other thing I wanted to say, <laughs> and you kept telling me, oh, the hunger's going to go away, and I was like, this lady's crazy, I don't know, this isn't very much food, <laughs> you know, but I, I had faith, and I kept, I did, I did exactly what you told me, and especially now, the longer as, as we go along, and I woke up one night, and man, I was just walking around <laughs> in my little apartment, because I'm like, I'm kind of hungry, I mean, I don't know, you know. But, you know, I stayed on the program, and, and now... Um, we broke the hunger cycle. Yeah. I would, well, when I started feeling better, mm -hmm. then, then that's, that's when that hunger went away. Yeah. Well, that's because we're killing all the bad bacteria, the harmful bacteria that's craving those starches and, and, and all that sugar and everything. You know, they, that's, that's their food. You know, they yeah. send signals to the brain saying, gimme, 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 sure gimme, gimme. Yeah, and when I'll they start dying off... And you're winning the fight, and the good bacteria is going in there, pushing them out too. You know that that hunger, that false hunger, it's actual false yeah. hunger, goes away, and it also goes away when as the insulin resistance leaves too. You know, yeah. um, you know when you can't get glucose into the cells, then then you know you're just going to be hungry all the time because you're not getting glucose into the cells because you know you have insulin resistance. But that goes away, you know, within about ten days on this program too. Right. So uh, that's why you're doing so well on your hike, too. One yeah. of many, many reasons. Yeah. So um, I think that's going to conclude our, our interview. You know, Tina, it's been wonderful working with you. I'm so glad that you came out here and that you're doing this for yourself. I am, too. And I tell you, this I'm lady sure. knows what she's doing. <laughs> she does. And that's not an understatement. Thank you. She knows exactly what she's doing. you got to come here. You have to do the program and do it as she says. And... Mm -hmm. You'll feel great. No. Really. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> you get a free smoothie for your drive home to Vegas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, that's, thank you. That's, that's, that will conclude. So in closing, I'd like to share Tina's report card with you. I take vitals before and after the program because it's not just about losing weight, and it is a very, very fast-moving and fast-acting program, so there are certain things that I do need to take care of and keep an eye on. So I take blood pressure, I take pulse, I take glucose, I take ketones. Ketones are the byproduct of burning fat. Most people burn fat today at about 0.1 to 0.3 millimoles. Not very much. Um, their bodies just are not trained to burn fat anymore because they snack all the time. Most people eat throughout the day. That's why it's so important to leave four or five hours in between meals because it forces your body to go after fats, which are the last things that the body, the last component that the body, food stuff that the body will go after uh, to burn for fuel. It's easy to, you know, to get the simple carbs in, up there. It's easy to get the complex carbs and it plays with the proteins a bit. And then the, you start using the fats for, uh, for the longer term energy. But people don't give the body time enough to get there. They snack and then the body starts all over again with the simple carbs and the, pro and the, carbs and the proteins. So, um, so anyway, uh, there's a Dr. Volick out there. He's a world renowned, he's an excellent scientist, has a multi-million dollar lab, works with world class athletes. Um, I have a, a tremendous amount of respect for this man. He's just, he's just a really good scientist. And, uh, and he works with athletes for peak performance. They're on a nutritional ketosis diet. And, um, and anyway, it, he says in a video on YouTube that it takes him about two to three weeks 
to get his to get his clients to uh, 1.5 to 3 millimoles, which is the ideal millimoles fat burning rate. And again, ketones are a byproduct of fat burning fat. So you measure ketones to know if you're a fat burning machine or if you're storing it. At point one, you're storing it. Believe me. And um, anyway, uh, Tina's ketones when she came in was a standard point one. Okay. And uh, this morning when I tested her, 3.1 in 10 days, okay? So Dr. Volick, you gotta brush up. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, very, I'm very happy about this program and about that because when you're burning ketones, when you're burning fat to produce 3.1 ketones, you are a fat burning machine, all right? So um, I also test pH, I test oxygen delivery, I test the lung capacity for oxygen delivery temperature and weight. So again, Tina came in at 199.6 and today and was the morning of her ninth day actually. She's going to get a hold of me tomorrow morning and give me uh, her scale numbers uh, tomorrow morning for a ten, full 10 days. But in nine days, she she left, uh, well this morning she was 190.2. So she lost 9.4 pounds in nine days. Um, so, and she didn't really hit the gym, she just did a 40 minute hike, you know, people that exercise a bit more will lose more. Um, her blood pressure went from 126 over 87 in just 9 days, because she tested that this morning, to 110 over 77. Uh, her pulse went from 68 to 66, not much change there. Her glucose was a little concerning, uh, she came in at 93, she left at 87, but she had Kiefer uh, this morning. She forgot not to eat. But that's okay because that tells me that her insulin is actually working for her. Okay? When insulin's not working well, her blood sugar would have went much farther up. Um, so, so, and we did test her with no food on day uh, six, it was, uh, in the morning, and she was 81. So she went from 93 to 81 in six days. And she would have been a lot lower today had she not had that kefir. But uh, anyway, she's going to get a ketone uh, and a, a ketone and blood sugar tester uh, when she gets home in Las Vegas and uh, keep an eye on that and keep me posted. So her oxygen deliver delivery improved just a point, which is good because she was 96 and then she's 97. Um, temperature stayed about the same. So, so anyway, you know, that's an excellent report card for nine days, all right? Um, you know, people, you know, give people drugs for, you know, the condition, you know, that she presented uh, when she came in. And in nine days, we, we erase any, any reason. Well, there's no reason for a drug uh, of any kind, but in nine days, we erased any reason for a doctor to even consider any drugs. So, uh, so that's the science of weight loss. And thank you for watching. And um, well, I'm going to be doing a lot of these interviews, all right, because I'm really enjoying, I'm enjoying watching these, these clients uh, just get energy and lose weight and, and be happy. All right, take care.